The UW Green Bay men's basketball team will be heading back in time tomorrow. The team's hosting Throwback Night, features discounted prices, a new look for the team, and head coach Brian Wardle joins me now with more about Throwback Night. Hi, Brian. Nice. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, nice look here. This is the jersey that you'll be wearing on Friday, right? Yep. This is a throwback jersey from the uh, mid-70s that our guys are going to be wearing. They're really excited about it, and so hopefully the fans can come out and support it and they'll get a little throwback look hopefully for myself too on the sidelines and we're gonna have some fun with it definitely hopefully from yourself what are you going to be wearing <laughs> well i'm looking i'm looking for an old you know 70s suit maybe a little vintage suit that i can wear plaid um i think you know, i might I have some in my closet but i don't think you'd fit into them yeah know? one thing with me as a head coach I'm, I'm i'm into all the themes and i think it's a, a lot of fun for fans that have been supporting our program for a long time to come back and kind of see the old look well, a lot of night. folks don't realize that red was the color for the '70s, mm -hmm. and then went to the what, green when? I think early '80s is what I've heard. I'm, I'm not sure on this specific date, but I know they went from this red and white jersey and slowly, you know, put green into the uniforms um, a few years later. Well, Brian, it's been your first year. Been uh, uh, was trying at the beginning, I think, uh, for folks, uh, your players, to get into the into the groove. Mm -hmm. But you've won what five of the last six, right? Five out of the last six, seven out of the last ten. You know, when you have seven newcomers, it takes a little bit of time. And we're starting to play better. We're starting to play a lot better. We're defending, we're rebounding, we're topping our league in those three two categories. So, you know, we're going to keep plugging away, and hopefully we can get some wins this, this weekend. And, you know, I know this with a new team and a young team, the more people that are in that stands at the rest center Friday night and Sunday, uh, the better we'll play. So hopefully people can come on out and support this team. They're a lot of fun to watch. Absolutely. I mean, particularly throwback uh, night when they're, you have discounted prices. It's a mm -hmm. real family event. Now, you went into Butler, a tough place to play. Came back from 21 points down at least to get it very close at the end. First off, is that the toughest place to play in the league? One of the toughest, yeah. yeah. If not, they're a very good home team. Obviously, a great, great program, great t tradition. So it was really good to see us fight back. We had 10 minutes of where we didn't play real well. But we battled back, and it's the first time in Hinkle Fieldhouse where we've had them on their heels. We were the aggressors, and they were just hoping the clock you know, went out mm -hmm. and the buzzer sounded because we were the team pushing it and fighting. So, you know, we're going to get them. We're going to get them. I tell Green Bay fans that. They may think I'm crazy, but we're there. We're getting close, um, and, and this team's a lot of fun to coach and, ha and, and work with every day. And when did you see it really gelling, or is it still in, in the process of gelling, <laughs> like a mold, jello mold? But do you see the light bulb go off in the player's head? Yeah, I think so right now. When you, you know, come January and February, we want to play our best basketball, and I've been telling our guys that all along. You know, this is going to take a little time, but come January and February, we need to be clicking. And I think once you get the rotations established where you go eight to nine guys, and they know their minutes, they kind of know their role is defined, and that's what took a little while for this group is when you're playing so many new people, you're, it was a little inconsistent as a coach. So you're trying to find guys or who can give me minutes here, who can give me minutes there. Once that was established, we started to click a little bit. So hopefully this weekend we can keep clicking. Hey, one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. you, got, uh, you got a star on your team, 5'4 guard. <laughs> yeah. Eric, Eric Valentin. Yeah, I mean, Eric, he, Eric Valentin. Yeah, he, he, uh, if you don't know, um, viral video is, is what the deal is. I mean, this is a video that he made. He, he supposedly has a world record now for half-court shots in a minute, right? Yeah, he has eight in a minute. He went eight and 19. We filmed it. Um, our guys, you know, I blew the whistle the other day in practice saying, all right, I know Eric's a celebrity right now. <laughs> we can still guard him. You can still get up into him. Don't worry about scratching his face, even though he has interviews every day right now. But, yeah, he was on Yahoo.com, SportsCenter. I mean, Eric, Eric couldn't happen to a better kid, and he's a great personality. He's a great addition to our team this year, and, and he's actually very, very skilled and gifted at making half-court shots. It's and, a tough shot. And it's, uh, it's good for the program as a whole, Absolutely. Right? I, mean, I mean, Green Bay is all over Sports Center, yeah. all over the Internet, and so it's obviously great for our program, the university, and the city for sure. Well, Brian, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Come by any time, all right? Absolutely. All right. And uh, make sure that you go to the throwback night. It's Friday, 7 o'clock. Uh, retro jerseys, discounted prices, it's all there on our website, fox11online.com.